Buying a house is a huge decision. It's most likely the largest purchase that you're going to make in your life. So it's natural that you want to make sure the person you hire is qualified and can properly help you navigate you through the process because you most likely have a large chunk of your life savings on the line. Let's go over five great questions to ask in order to make sure that you have someone that is confident. But first, hi, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. I'm one of the state's top agents. If you have any real estate questions, then let me know because I'm here to help. Okay, I personally think the first question is an obvious one, but I've never heard anyone ask it. The first question I think a person should ask is, do you personally own a home? You can gain a lot of insight by this question alone. If the answer is yes, then move along to the next qualifying question. If that answer is no, then you might want to just stop right there. Either they don't own a house because they don't believe in the investment, which my question would be, so wait a minute, you're peddling this stuff, but you don't believe in it? Or they don't own a home because they don't have the income or credit to buy one. And think about it for a second. Do you really want someone who can't manage their own credit to manage your largest financial decision? They can't manage their credit. But don't worry. They'll do much better managing your finances and negotiating the best deal on your purchase. Now, the second question should revolve around their actual experience. How many houses have you sold in the last year? And how many have you sold in your career? It always amazes me that so many sellers ask this question, but very few buyers do. Experience, it matters a lot. Netting you the best deal with the best terms often requires strategy, especially in multiple offer situations. Your agent's experience could very well be the difference between you getting your dream house and it going to another buyer. Or even worse, you get your dream house and way overpay for it. Now, the third question asked should be along the lines of how do you go over the buying process? A lot of agents will just start having you look at homes. This is great and all, but it's kind of like learning how to run before you've actually even started crawling. I think this is why one of the biggest complaints from home buyers is that they feel lost and confused during the transaction. You want someone to sit down with you and go over in depth what your wants, what your needs are, and then go over the process. It's important to have a general understanding of what is next, but it's imperative to also ensure that your agent will be continuing to consult you throughout the process and make you aware of those next steps. And for question number four, especially in today's market, you wanna ask a three-part question. How do you handle bidding war situations? How many have you been in? And what is the average amount of offers written before one of your buyers gets a house? Now, bidding wars are a way of life, and this is a question that can really dig into an agent's experience. Personally, I think this is why sitting down to go over that home buying process, which we just talked about, is so important. At this time, you should start coming up with a customized offer strategy. If your agent is newer, then quite frankly, you don't stand a chance in a bidding war and will end up wasting your time and spinning your wheels. I had been in so many bidding wars at this point. I can tell you with certainty that I have not won them all, but my buyers are normally in the discussion with the top offers. And it's important to know that an experienced agent will be able to help direct you with suggestions on how to make your offer stronger while not really costing you anything. Sometimes it's not all about that price. And the fifth question to ask is how does the process work once we agree to move forward? Another huge complaint is that buyers often feel that they never hear from their agent and that they did it all the work. It's easy to feel this way when it's always you reaching out to your agent. Now, a good agent should be looking for homes on a daily basis and sending them to you. They should be actively looking for opportunities for you. You do not want an agent that just sets you up in an email search and then just sits back and waits for you to reach out to them. If they are sitting back and being lazy in the search, then, well, most likely they're going to be a little lackluster and most likely won't do a great job fighting for you when it really matters. When it comes to buyer agency, in most cases, the seller, well, they're going to pay the buyer agent fees. There are some agents that will charge a transaction fee or a retainer, so you might want to ask about that question as well. But for the most part, hiring an experienced and aggressive go-getter of an agent costs you the same as hiring that brand new wet behind the ears agent. This is most likely your largest financial purchase of your life. Thousands, if not tens of thousands of your dollars are on the line. You want to hire the most qualified person that you feel comfortable with. And that comfort level is very important, by the way. 
Now, whether you're looking to buy or sell a house in the next nine or 90 days, then right here, I'm your guy. I'd love to chat with you. All of my contact information, it's in the description below, or you can also reach out to me at youtuberealestateagent.com. Again, my name is Jeffrey Chubb, and I look forward to hearing from you. So until next time.